Hello, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and it's autumn, so I thought we should explore the well-plated cookbook, Fast Healthy Recipes You'll Want to Eat, by Erin Clark. I haven't cooked or baked anything out of this yet. I grabbed it from my local library. Let's check it out. Here she is on the back. The publisher is Avery, an imprint of Penguin Random House, and it came out in October 2020. And I thought I had checked this out before and I just looked through our YouTube channel and didn't see it. The photography is by Becky Harden and it is beautiful. The table of contents is good morning sunshine, let's party, ooh I like that one, seriously satisfying salads, main attractions, beyond the bread sandwiches and other handhelds, soups on, second helping sides, and don't skip desserts. Introduction. She says, my love affair with food began with a bowl of sweetened whipped cream. <laughs> nice. The five tips for better cooking and healthy living. Ways to add more fruits and veggies to your diet. She's talking about her pantry staple. Here's the first chapter. Good morning, sunshine. The recipes are fruit and honey scones, sweets and beets hash with avocado, maple quinoa granola, breakfast sandwiches, breakfast casserole, etc. Fruit and honey scones, sweets and beets hash with avocado, colorful way to start your day. Wow, freezer breakfast sandwiches, that's incredible. I've never seen a recipe quite like that in a cookbook. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. Cheesy Southwest breakfast casserole. I definitely want to try making this. I'm not a big fan of peppers. The word Southwest means you're putting in some mm -hmm, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and she puts turkey in. I would substitute with a vegetarian option. Overnight oats that are creamy. Superhero smoothie. I better jump to another chapter though. Can't show you the whole book. No bake granola bars. Oh, I just made some lemon poppy seed muffins out of a box mix from Betty Croft. So here's lemon chia muffins that I should have made instead from scratch. Oh, wow. everyday apple cinnamon pancakes. Let's skip ahead. We're still in, oh, cowboy caviar. I think we're in the salad chapter now. Yes, because it says it right here. This is the let's party chapter. Sticky Asian cauliflower wings, yum. Maybe a little messy to eat at a party. Sweet potato pizza bites. What do those look like? Oh, cute. Cute. Seriously satisfying salads. Okay, new chapter. Santa Fe grilled chicken salad. That looks yummy. I shouldn't look through cookbooks when I'm hungry. Maple roasted butternut squash salad with arugula and farro. A nice autumn salad. Ooh, this is pretty. What's this one? Summer Celebration Orzo Salad with Chickpeas and Creamy Basil Pesto. Shaved Brussels Sprout Salad. Kickin' Black Pepper Pork Stir Fry. We are now in the Main Attractions chapter. Sheet Pan Tandoori Chicken. Ooh, what's this? One Pot Creamy Sun-Dried Tomato Orzo with Spinach. I love how many... Uh, vegetable forward or plant-based recipes she's including in here for options. Sheet pan sweet chili Asian baked fish and vegetables. Raymond's Moroccan lemon chicken. Four unboring ways to use shredded chicken. Nice. Lemon chicken pasta salad with tarragon and grapes. Oh, interesting. Butternut squash chicken and wild rice casserole. And you could substitute your favorite vegetarian protein in there instead. Better than a restaurant baked cauliflower parmesan. Oh, that looks amazing. Ultimate creamy mac and cheese four ways. Spaghetti pie. Oh, I want to try that. That looks fun. Kids would love that. Beyond the bread, sandwiches and other handhelds, for example. Greek pita pizzas with skinny tzatziki sauce. Buffalo chicken burgers with blue cheese sauce. On purpose veggie burgers with roasted red pepper sauce. Asian lettuce wraps. 
Oh, this is cute. Soup's on. Oh, I've been looking forward to the soup chapter. I love making soup. Blue ribbon chili. That counts as a soup. Chicken pot pie stew with a buttery garlic crust croutons. If I made that for my boyfriend, he would probably propose on the spot. <laughs> Not that we want that. Either one of us. Slow cooker sweet potato peanut soup. Oh, nice. I do need to dust off my slow cooker and get it out now that it's autumn. Instant pot pasta e fagioli. Ooh, pasta with extra protein in there. Nice. Ooh, rosemary cheddar cornbread from scratch. Yum. There's so many things in this book I want to make. Here is every night roasted vegetable guide. Very handy. I should be roasting vegetables every night and I'm not. <gasps> We're in the dessert chapter. Any way you like it, lemon yogurt pound cake. Yum. Zucchini snack cake. Mm, I'll pass. How about you? And kitchen sink carrot cake. How fun. I love this book. It's impressive. I wasn't, I'm kind of surprised. This is the Well Plated Cookbook by Erin Clark. Thanks so much for looking through this book with me. Love to hear what you thought about it in the comments. Bye.